it's time to set sail. What's up, Fire Fam? My name's Karen Fire, and welcome back to Code Exiles. We're back in season seven, and today I'm gonna be going about and building a boat. So I'm just decided on what I want to pick today. We're gonna build a, a full boat. Uh, this is gonna kind of be the size for it. So what we got here? Um, we've got triangles in the back, then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 along, and then <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wide, and then you have the tip on the end. So, I, I don't know, if you want to follow me build this, you are more than welcome. But I'm going to be, uh, you know, chilling and building with you guys today. That's what's going to happen. So... I was deciding what wall do I want for my boat, you know, what um, hole do we want? We want something sturdy, we want something that looks consistent and good. And I was thinking, huh, this looks pretty decent, but I think it's a little bit too much with the borders. And then we also have this one. Great, a storm's happening. <laughs> great timing, Storm, great timing. We also have this one. And I, I kind of like it, but then again, I don't know if it's too much, you know what I mean? And then we have this one, and this one's like the most consistent, but it also kind of looks like someone just went crazy with boards and was like, with the hammer. <laughs> and it's just like, this is my makeshift boat, me very proud kind of thing. So I got to decide between that. I'm going to wait for the storm to get out of the way, and then we can continue doing whatever we're doing here. And we're going to need stone and wood, which I have buttloads of, because I made sure to farm for this. <laughs> I brought everything over for the base. All of the good stuff. Let's build this. Boom, 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 boom. Nice and fast. Good for building mode today. This is going to be a really big ship. Even though it's like five wide, it's a really, really long vessel. There's a reason I wanted it the size it was in comparison to like any bigger than that though. And I'm going to see if it works. Because we needed an odd number for the ship. Because if we need masts... It's gonna look weird if you have a two by two uh, width of mass. You kind of need the one by one for it to make any sense. So that's kind of my chain of thought with that. So <laughs> that should be interesting. But anyway, let's get this uh, going. Let's build and let's get my boat started to get out of here. Yeah, don't worry too much about the floor tiling the way we have this going. It's, um, yeah, you won't need to worry on the rotation unless you're really picky about that kind of thing. We're not going to be seeing the bottom bit too much anyway, so it's going to be like storage, odd looking anyway. You won't need to worry about that if you're building this yourself. If you want to get out of Sipta, that is, maybe you like Sipta. <laughs> maybe you like staying in it. I don't know, but we're, we're definitely getting out and that man. Yeah, I do like this uh, flotsam stuff. This is good, this is good. Um, Definitely gonna need more wood though. This uh, boat's gonna take a lot of wood. Luckily, it's uh, loady. I think I might have to stop this person if we need this amount of wood. Oh no, we should we should be fine. That takes ages to craft anyway. Um, yeah, you know why not? Um, I'm not gonna need any more of this though. So let's plop this in here. I'm kind of just using this as a dump. Not really using it for what it's supposed to be used for. But <laughs> hey ho. <laughs> Don't really need that anyway. Um, right, more of that. I definitely am going to use some part stable though, like for the cabin and stuff. I think that would be really nice. I'm going to start needing a stairway, so hang on a minute, crafting. Okay, so temporary door. This is not going to be around here forever. I am going to flip it around the other way though, just in case it flips around the wrong way. There we go. <laughs> Usually you don't want a door on the hull of your ship. You end up sinking. That would be awful. We don't want that. <laughs> I'm just thinking how big I want this. Oh, God. Like, how big? Oh, my God. Yeah, like, how? Oh, my God. Okay. i got to think of proportions. What's going to look right? What's going to look bad? Kind of thing. Oh, God. It's going to be a lot of thinking. We're just going to test it out, though. I might end up destroying a few things, replacing a few things. Like I said, chill building. Um... You can follow along if you want. <laughs> I will probably make mistakes. I will warn you. And there we go. There's the second level done. All right. It's starting to get dark. I wish I could skip over the night. Coming evening time soon, I think. Oh, no, it's only three o'clock. The light is really weird. 
and dark as it always is on Scepter. Frickin' wizard lighting. <laughs> okay, so it is 16, so it's gonna be 8 different. So we're gonna have to go in between a little here and see if we can uh, even this out a little bit. So that is 7 along. What's this? Is this also. No, that's six along, so we've got to chip up this side. Boom. And then that will be a little more. And then maybe we can, um... Yeah, let me chip away one more over here. Um, I don't know if I want to do another one over here. Maybe not. We might just do the slope wall up a bit as well for the back, because otherwise it's going to look really big and chonky. So let's um let's pick this one up, and then I'm going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing, and pull these away. If you have a, a nice pickup uh, ability, then you can go ahead and not waste walls that way. But I know sometimes uh, you won't always have that option, depending on plat platforms you're building on. So yeah, we got that. That. You know, kind of cool. <laughs> it kind of feels like I've got to sift it. I've just, uh, I've gone into the wreckages. I've ripped a few bits of the wreckages off. And I'm like, right, this is going on my ship. Gonna look good, baby. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that a bit better. Uh, well, you'll see how it fleshes out anyway. Um, hopefully the back is big enough. Okay, so instead of the other direction, we're going to point the arrow towards us. So it goes across. I want it horizontal, not um the other way around vertical there we go that that'll be yeah that's much better <laughs> that was bugging me so much all right we can go either direction and that kind of works so yeah here we go much better yeah it looks weird vertical for me uh you could have it either way i suppose <laughs> i was just like no not working for me oh no oh, cursed piece I give that to me. I know that this bit is very narrow, but don't worry, it will get better because this will be the lowest point of the, well, one of the lowest points of the ship, so. And that bit is needing stability. Maybe we can borrow some stability off of this section. That's going to be a no. Hey, I love it when it goes into, into place. It's like a glob, as they would say. So yeah, I need a... I need some stability around this section, which is fine. I was expecting that indeed. Um, and the way I'm going to cater for that is a thing I'm going to do door frames because that tends to look a little better. There we go. And that's nice and airy down here. It makes it look less claustrophobic. It's going to have little pins though. That's my only thought. Goddamn ceiling. <laughs> oh well. Let's see how this goes. And then, oh, I need another one. Thank you. And then I'm going to have to pick this torch up because it's going to be in the way. But we don't need that anymore, so that's fine. Yeah, see, lovely and green support now. All right, so this is done. We got the nailing in. It kind of looks like nailing, doesn't it? <laughs> now we're going to do these. So let's just double check that looks okay. That does fit in. So and instead of having all flotsam, because I really don't like having all of the same thing in the yeah. Um, it ends up looking too samey. Not my vibe. <laughs> Let me go and get some more stone because I do want to check if it does fit in a little better than this. Um, oh, hello. <laughs> what is with the tea posing recently? It's so weird. So bizarre. Um, I'm just going to ignore that though. You have a very nice day, ma'am, with your tea posing. You enjoy that? <laughs> Alright, let me build a couple of these. Let's have a look at this as well. Um, we don't want to take over that spot because I want to build some more of that. And then I need to put more of the lattice door, which we don't have anymore. Let me go. Give me... Let me go? There we go. <laughs> there we go, a couple more. And there doesn't really matter too much on the rotation on these because they're the same either way. Which I quite like it when you get that. But also... Kind of limits creativity in another way because you could have two different designs so there we go that's like the smaller end that's the bigger end that that probably could work because it looks like um nice and crap like that there we go i can't remember you have a door on this side i think it's the other side you have a door on isn't it and then this bit's the bit you don't 
Oh. And then we're going to have this slopey bit. That's going to go in there. There we go. And that's going to go in there. Looks very nice. Looks a bit weird with the uh, stair a little bit, but that's fine. And then this side is going to be the bit with the door. You kind of got the captain's cabin over here, I think. Yeah, I kind of like that, like that. Um, let me figure this out. Um, which way I want this to go, if I want this to be higher. Because it's probably going to have to be higher. Because otherwise it's going to look really weird. Um, let me see. Yeah, because you want the back of the ship to be higher than the front. Because all ships kind of look like that. Mostly. So, I'll probably go a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I want it structurally sound in a way. <laughs> uh, right. Um, yeah, I'm going to flesh this out with that. Made this end a little higher. See how that looks. I might have to redo the back a little bit. Because I want that to look nice. But there we go. One more level up. So, yeah, I might. Hang on. I might pick these up and I'll move this window back one more level and then I think that will be perfect. So we have this. I'm going to go ahead and put it in that angle. There we go. And I am going to bring this one across just to bring in the support. There we go. Oh, and I will put some bladders down there as well. Let me see if I got... I don't think I got any more door frame. Keep running out of door frame. This could be good as well, the ladders for the door frame on the, um... On this higher bit. But it may be too holy. But it might look nice for the windows. We'll see. So we'll plop that in. Those are gonna have, uh, the rims on it. Very nice. <laughs> and then we're gonna have... This lovely wall. And shenanigans here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much better. Right. And then... Oh, I suppose I could have the windows from there now, I suppose. Since I got that there. That might look a little better. Oh, yeah. And then it's going to be up like that. Oh, it's getting fancy. <laughs> Right, so does it look weird with this, or does it kind of go because now this whole back section is the dark stuff? I guess that looks pretty good. I feel like I probably need a window on top of that now, though. Or would that look extra weird? Oh, I don't know. I wish I could draw wooden pillars down into it. But I think that kind of works, you know. Alright, so have it like that. Yeah, because then that goes with the sloping, otherwise I'm going to have to use different sloping, and that just looks weird. There we go. And then, oh yeah, I was gonna... No, we'll, we'll go with the, um, storm wall, maybe. Have a look at that. Yarmy mateys. This might be another case of I need more support over here, though. <laughs> this is looking pretty ropey. Pretty damn ropey. Oh. At the last second. Let me fill this out. And there we go that's the top section all boarded up i suppose i'll go ahead and do the other side and board that up and then we can figure out where we want things and there we go I just Probably some by mistake, but hey ho. <laughs> I think I'm definitely gonna put a door in this section. I think. And then just put the stairway down into this big old uh, quarters in here. I think it will be a little safer of an option to have more of this going on. Alright. Then we can kind of have a little stability here and there. Because I'm gonna be putting like big old, um, hopefully, masts on this one as well. I want that to look alright. Why does that go up there but not... Why do you do this to me, game? You know, we might have to remove that just to be able to place that and then have it comfortably sitting on. Oh, so now you, you just remove that so you think it's, it's perfect. You're happy. You're happy, game. Great. 
All right, let me continue. You gonna do the same? No, that that's nice of you. Great. Um, pop that one there. Pop that one there. This might be a little bit more difficult. I might just have to have some bits in the front, but that should help it out quite a lot. Either way, maybe here. There you go. That will help it a lot. Just having that one there. Now there's a bit of stability. Don't get too much in the way. I will move the torches eventually. Don't you worry. Because otherwise that gets too much in the way. And then we have a... We'll probably have a door. Actually looks pretty good already. Um, I think we could do the lattice door, I suppose. Da -da -da. Yeah, I kind of like that. Then you go into that area. Nice. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, I yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, let's just go with this. That's absolutely perfect. Yeah, because then you have that little, uh, that sweet little. Oh. <laughs> Why are you placing over there, game? Why? <laughs> My poor dogs, I didn't know my arms could reach that far away, but apparently they can. So, there you go, that works. And then that's that kind of level. Yeah, I, yeah, that's nice. I like, I like that. We could either do like a big one, or we could just have several of these, but... Usually in little piratey things, you have like... These, don't you? Like a little grating on the middle, and usually it would be like a... Four. I suppose we could go with a bigger panel. That might look pretty decent. <laughs> All right, so like that. And that's where you have like your, your prisoners are underneath kind of thing. And they're like, help me. It's the only light I can see in the day. That could work. I don't know. Experimenting. <laughs> I, I do feel like it would look a little better if it was like the, uh, the four cube there. No, that could work. It might look a little better if I have it up one or maybe i could just have the ceiling on this bit and it be along that might work a little better let's see um let me pick these up without breaking anything hopefully and give me you that could work a little bit better because that's in the middle if we had it one longer it'd probably be a bit better but hello um oh did i forget to Oh, I did forget to put a wall there. Whoopsie. Then have it like that. Yeah, that kind of works. There you go. That's our prisoner section. Need to wall in this bit. And possibly put more lights outside. Because I'm about to not be able to see anything. Or we could have like a little storage room in there, I suppose. But for now, I'm going to block it off. So it kind of at least fits a little bit. <laughs> um... I suppose I could have like a little storage thingy down here as well, but I, I'm definitely going to draw maybe just the ceiling down. Have your little drawing board room. Perhaps just could be more storage on the bottom. I'm definitely going to need that. And already I've started placing these the wrong direction, which is fantastic. <laughs> so let me lay out this room and get this done. I might need to put in more lattice structure support, but... We will see if I need that or not. I think we probably will, looking at the colour of these. And there we go, that's this room lit up and stuff. This area is very dark outside. Um, boom. Let's, let's grab one of these torches, actually, light up a bit out here. Grab that one. And there we go. Oh, it's beautiful! The moon! <laughs> Moving fast, though. There we go. Alright, so lit up the ship a little bit for the night. Um, now I've got to figure out the mast. Because that's going to be an issue. I think I want a free pole mast, maybe. If I can get that to work, we'll, we'll see. Um, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to need pillars that look right for the job. Deary me. We're getting all the distractions today. You know, I'm trying to record this video. And door. Uh, like I live in a pretty busy household. Visitors door slamming everything i'm tr i'm having a lot of trouble to record today <laughs> i just want to record a video dude and it's like no you're not allowed <laughs> how dare you <laughs> how dare you want at least an hour of peace that cannot happen you're not allowed 
Ah, uh, sucks, right? Oh well. Problems. Alright, so I think it's at least three mass poles we need. I think that'd be pretty good. About there, there, and there. Um, hopefully that's a good amount away from each other. Let me just double back and check there. See if that works out good or not. Uh, move back a little bit. And let's check. Is it, uh, is it a little far away from each other maybe? It could, could look weird. I might start with the middle one and see how that looks. Because we're going to have to angle that right. And then see if I can do the other lot of that might look fine once we got the kind of swishy bit out all right i got some bits and bobs and hopefully we can work this out i got some ladders and hatches to be able to get up and down hopefully that'll be all right gonna have to remove that because i can't get up there otherwise let me just move you aside mr torch you might hear my fan a little bit while i'm talking in this film but i am sorry it's like the hot one of the hottest weeks in the uk ever <laughs> And I need it. <laughs> um, Alright, so yeah, there we go. For the first level, and go up a little bit. This is gonna be very complicated. Um, this is not gonna be in order. But, so, uh, no, I don't wanna do that, but sure. <laughs> it's gonna have to be the length of the boat, because otherwise it's gonna look strange. So we'll go ahead with the length of the boat. Now my legs. I pick this one up i need those and then hopefully we can get it all on the same kind of level to start with because i think that's what we're going to warm so this is going to be the same height so it's going to be about there and then go across like that okay so with how ship structures go they tend to have like a big one a small one a medium one you have your big one in the middle or you have ones with like three things stacked on top of each other i've been looking at pirate ships online um, <laughs> I mean, I've been looking at simple blueprints of pirate ships, <laughs> but um, it's gonna be difficult uh, either way. I don't know if I want a really big one or a small one. Or I'm definitely gonna start with the middle one, and we're gonna see. The one at the back is gonna be one up from those, because otherwise we're gonna interrupt the uh, the rest of it. And I think I'm gonna have to put some ports down because I cannot make it big enough, and that's uh not going to work. <laughs> right, so I'm going to try this out. I'm going to hook it to the middle foundation. Oh, don't know where that went. And then hopefully that will help. That should be hooked in now. That's the opposite way around. Hang on, let me fix that. That might be not helping us. Grab that one. Other way around. There we go. Hook that to that. It's not as pretty as I wanted it to be, but it might just be necessary to have it. All right, now one's hooked to the foundation, so we probably won't need these anymore. Sorry, I'm just experimenting a little bit. We want to get the stability, otherwise I cannot do the top one, and that's not what we want. And I might have to make a mess in the cabin. So we're going to see. Yeah, that works. <laughs> What's the all right, so we just need that one bit in the middle and that helps for this side. And then hopefully I can do a whole shebang over here without having to have too much mess. So there we go. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and start the middle. Now we got our little bases down of the first ones. I'm going to go start over here, see what we can do. My dual stamina is fighting my stamina. It's great. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be pretty crazy, but we're gonna we're just gonna hook slope to slope, and hopefully that looks okay in a triangle. I don't know how mad I can go with it, without it getting angry at me because it's not structurally sound. But <laughs> let's uh, let's give this a go. So we've got a bunch of this. I'm gonna need a ton of it. And I'm gonna need a ton of uh, ceilings too. Gonna look a little weird at first until we get this down. Um, yeah, this could be. I definitely might need to look for more structurally soundness. <laughs> yeah, on the edges, no. <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna be difficult. Burning a ship is a lot harder than it looks. Okay. 
Um. Um. All right. So I wanted it too. So that's one. One level, two level, three level, four. There. I'm gonna essentially need to hook it to that. If that works. <laughs> I might have to go skinnier. No, I don't want to go skinnier. It needs to be nice and chalky. Maybe if it attaches to there, it might like me more. If it stops hooking to here anyway. Right. Give me. Maybe that will help this side. No, it doesn't really, does it? <laughs> Alright, I'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, because otherwise it's going to look real weird. <laughs> oh, bad. This is a pig to do. Absolute pig. Alright, so this doesn't actually work. You would need mods to get this structurally sound or just to attach it to the front of this to get that to work. And that's not going to work for me, so I'm going to see if I can make it a little bit more sound. Alright, so I'll try that there and see if that helps a little bit. Not exactly what I want. But... Ah, uh, no, because we still got this issue here. Man! <laughs> if I wanted to make small paddles, this would be a lot better. But I don't, because I'm weird. I'm complicated like that. Alright. So that does kind of help a little bit, but not what we want. So maybe I'm just going to put like three pillars in support and call it there. Conan just not be built for these things. <laughs> or I'm not built for these things. It's probably more likely story, right? So let me draw three of these down. Because that will help. As much as I don't want three pillars down, this uh, should help a lot with it. Maybe a little bit more realistic, who knows? You're never turning the sail on my ship, though. <laughs> ah, yeah. We want that lovely big sail, we have to add in a lot more structure support. Everything downstairs is very structurally sound. There we go. I think that would look nice. Otherwise, um, I don't really want to not have that. Personal choices, of course. <laughs> you could have much smaller things if you wanted, but I'm not doing that because we live life on the edge on the Car and Fire channel. <laughs> Ugh, cringe. <laughs> Alright, let me build some more ladder. Come on, ladder. Down you come. I need to get on ya. Right, so there we go. I could keep the laddering, maybe. We are going to tart this up after. We're going to make it look kind of nice. So, don't worry about that. Going up to the second level, though. So, we've got that in there. And then it has, like, a kind of split, doesn't it? And then we could do another one on this level, maybe. Maybe that will look okay. Definitely don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Fantastic. Alright, there we go. And I need another one of these to be able to go up there. There we go. And... E. I really hope I don't fall to my death. <laughs> That's not what I want to do. We could go real wild and tall here. I could go with a real tall sail. You know what? I'm going to try that and see how that looks. With a small one on top. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. It could look really stupid. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, build this here. Boom. That there. Boom. Ladder down so I can get up. Check. There we go. Very nice. Jesus. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of resources. I'm really glad I uh, stocked up on some of this. Although I'm a little worried I'm going to run out of fiber. But that's luckily one of the resources that's actually incredibly easy to go ahead and get. Um, Alright, let's build our next level. This could be another big sail. I'm going King Kong. King Kong boats here. 
This has got to be able to go across many seas, many travels. I did frick up with that one. This has got to be able to do lots of things. And I did it again. <laughs> there we go. we got to be able to go very far. So it's got to be a very big, big and suitable ship for that, right? <laughs> this is crazy big. Oh, I really don't want to fall from here. It's so high. I'm a little worried coming down this bit. Let's make it back up again. <gasps> Phew! Alright. <laughs> oh god, it's horrible! <laughs> oh no, look at that there again. Alright. And then we're gonna have our other level... Uh, did I run out of ceiling? Oh man, I'm spending my resources like it's candy. Um, Let's have a look-see, can I find it? No, not that one. This one, this one, this one, this one. There it is. I did run out. That's a bummer. Alright, and then that one goes one more up. No, I'm definitely going to need more resources. <laughs> um, I probably won't take this down until I'm 100% sure I'm finished up here. Because otherwise it's going to be fun placing all of that again. And then... Oh, I didn't place the pillars down on that level. Uh-oh. Maybe I can on this tiny little... Yeah, I can. I hear Charlie down there! Charlie, I hear you! Don't worry! Don't worry, I'll be okay. Hopefully. Oh! <laughs> uh, maybe jinxing myself a little early. Yeah, not gonna do that again. Alright, a couple of more of those. And more of those. And it's gonna be a little tiny one. Done it again. And uh, did I get the right one? Oh, I didn't. No. Yeah, okay, give me that one. There we go. Beautiful. How does it look kind of so far? I'm not gonna really be able to tell. <laughs> Freaking massive. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh god, I hope it looks okay. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to deconstruct it all. I place this here. Why do you want to go every angle but the one I want you to go in? Come on, game. Oh, I had you. I had you. There you are. There you are. I got you now. Alright. And then we go up again. Oh my god, it's so far down. <laughs> oh no. Alright, and then maybe like a kind of thing like that. And then, oh, I could use the flotsam spiky bits now. I'm definitely going to go with the cap. So the intersection can go away. We're going to stick with the cap. Have that in my inventory. Um, that can stay as it is. And then this is going to have, uh, I suppose we're going to trim it a bit. There we go. So you don't fall off while you're up here. I definitely would fall off. 100%. <laughs> No doubt. There we go. That's pretty decent. Alright, and then we're going to go down to level without crapping my pants. Ooh. <laughs> and do the same treatment over here. And then hope it looks lovely. Don't need it all the way around for this level. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. And then repeat it all the way down the levels. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm at the top. My hat frame. Did that come off? I believe so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Don't do that to me, game. That definitely destroyed itself now. <laughs> Alright. Luckily, it's all attached to the hatch frames. I hate to waste it, but it's a little scary. Alright, and then that's done forever. That's done, Zoes. That's it. No more going up there, unless I want to break my ankles. Freaking massive. Freaking storm. <laughs> At least it keeps it light enough for now until the night time comes. But oh my god. Alright, um. Where did my pillars go? Did I run out of pillars? I did. 
Whoa. Oh, I need more hardened brick. I'm running out of resources doing that whole thing. Alright, so you see me build this one. I'm probably going to speed this one up and just go ahead and build these because you kind of get the gist. I'm going to do the kind of same thing here. It's just going to be uh, not as many levels as that one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that's all free sales made it looks okay like oh, i don't really like the free pillar thing but it's the only way i can really get it to work without it looking really strange all right i'm up here hopefully i can stay up here for a little while longer without booting me off all right and then that maybe or that no it's gonna have to be that in that then it looks like it's at least pinned in there <laughs> Maybe, you know what, I might remove those side ones. See how that looks. Hopefully that'll be alright. Leon's just like, make your mind up, woman. <laughs> you just look at me like, you're taking ages. Alright, so I'm gonna go... Eh, give this to me. Got. Move that one. Move that one. Maybe something like that. Can I remove this without removing the stability? I can. Maybe that'll be a little better. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Let me um, let me finish off this fencing because I think we can do that now. Um, frames at the gates. All right, it's fully boarded now. I just had a little idea. I remembered in the um stable DLC we have. There's a cartwheel. And that's the wheel I can use for the ship. And I'm hoping it goes on alright. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yeah! <laughs> that works so good! Oh, I could use a cartwheel to steer the ship. That's fantastic. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> I was worried there would be no wheel, but that works so good! Oh my god. And then we just need a little chair. Little bench. Captain's gonna get stiff ass otherwise. Okay, me. <laughs> Alright, and then pop that there. Cool, can I sit on the right side? Can I not sit on this bench? Okay, never mind. Didn't need to sit anyway. <laughs> Just there for show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I believe that's the outside uh, layout. Pretty much done, minus the torches everywhere. Um, and I thought something to do with the captain's cabin. I could fix that right up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and decorate it now. See how that kind of goes. I'm going to fiddle with a bunch of stuff. So it's going to take me a while to do it. So I'm going to show you the finished result. And then 
pretty much yeah have a little preview but that's the ship i think i did okay what do you think it's my first time building a ship in conan so yeah <laughs> very hot day um in a tiny little room building myself a ship to get away so good <laughs> all right let's have a look at my build let's have a little tour of what i've done i've cleaned it up a bit looks a bit better i've made some cannons <laughs> do you like my little custom cannons i just made them up on the spot <laughs> If, if you want to know what it is, it's um, ale kegs, three of them, with two cartwheels sunk into the ground a little bit. That's what that is. And we're, we're, we're tossing eggs, like dragon eggs. Like dragon eggs, proper solid. Make a great cannonball. <laughs> Alright, so let's have a look around the ship. We've got the front deck where we can go ahead and boom! Throw our little egg launchers. we got the horn. Yeah, yeah. Got little benches to sit on. What else have we got here? More cannons. We got the uh, you know the captain's quarters in here, and we go up the stairs. And Leon is driving the ship. <laughs> I swapped it around with a throne, and we got these little parts, wreckage parts. I found they're pretty cool. Apparently, I learnt them some point along the way. And then we got more stuff. So <laughs> that's what's going on up here. Let's take a look down in the uh, storage area. We got a spot for the horses, and then any of the other animals can chill at the front. They got food, they got water, they're very set. Then we got a little storage area, you got my bed, and then all the other beds for the uh, staff. Chests, uh, barrels, you know, st all the storage in there. Uh, nice sitting area, little kitchen area. Um, <laughs> this is my little ship, little tour. Then we go upstairs and we have the captain's quarters. I'm going to go ahead and go in there. And you can see very, very plush, very nice. Go through, and there's the captain's desk in the room. Got some statues on these nice uh, watchers bookshelf from the uh, Twitch event. Statue. This is supposed to be a map. I couldn't find a really a good map scroll in vanilla. So I just kind of made one up. Um, and then just have all these fancy things. So yeah little carpets little bits and bobs everywhere and i did put a window in the back because you kind of get that thing uh when you have a pirate ship i know it's usually uh it comes out a bit but this is my little spin on it and uh well this is my ship and what i've built so i hope you guys like my little pirate ship let's have a look on the way around it as well once the storm has gone all right so let's have a look at the ship on the outside so we've got this kind of thing going on here um, I am going to have to swim around a bunch of this, but I think it come out okay, you know. For the first time of me building this ship, I think it come out pretty good. Um, ships aren't easy to build in Conan, not going to lie. Whoever tries, I huge commend to you. <laughs> Hugely commend you. Oh, it's hard to see uh, when you're swimming. Let's see, yeah, there we go. There's what I've built, ship-wise. Looks quite good at that angle. And then we go round, and it kind of goes like that. I think it's going to get us across the water. I think we'll be good. So the only thing we have now is to pack up the rest of the ship with everything we have, get everybody else on board. And then i got to figure a way to uh, turn the storm off, to be able to leave. Because if you didn't know, the Isle of Scepter gets a lot of shipwrecks. So you've got to pick the right opportunity to leave. Otherwise, you'll become a shipwreck again. <laughs> so we we got to figure out the way that these pirates over there are taken and take their route to be able to get out of Scepter. Maybe be able to turn off the storm or time it correctly. So we'll see what happens in the next episode. But I think that's pretty good for here today. Thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.